Chris 6 News at 10 continues. Welcome back. Dolores Price, an artist and a teacher, has been a well-known figure in Kingsville for the past 45 years. Her fans and friends love her colorful watercolor paintings, and they'll be disappointed to hear that her current exhibition of work at the Connor Museum on the AM Kingsville campus may be her last one. Chris 6 News anchor Lee Sosley took a trip to Kingsville to see the show and talk with Dolores Price about her life in art. She has been painting and teaching for more than 60 years now, and she still has a sparkle in her eye and a delightful sense of humor. They wanted me to have a show in December of 2019, and I told them, I said, are you kidding? I'll be dead by then. <laughs> so they moved it up, and they, the Connor Museum has just been great. The show is called Dolores Price, A Few Favorites, and many of these 37 paintings are just that, ones that she's kept for herself. Some are from her daughter's collection, and some are from her gallery there in Kingsville. And they all showcase her skill with watercolor, which is one of the most difficult painting mediums to master. And Price credits her good fortune to have studied with some of the best watercolorists of the 20th century, starting with Robert E. Wood when she was a young art teacher in Houston. Bob Wood was just a fabulous artist. And, you know, learned so many things from him and we became good friends. Now, all of her paintings have a very strong sense of design, which is something she learned from Edgar Whitney, another famous watercolorist. I got the design mostly from Edgar, Edgar Whitney. That was his big thing, and he was, he was such a fun teacher. He was in his 80s, which at the time I was in my 20s. She also studied under the famous Millard Sheets and others to develop her own techniques and style. You you pick up their techniques, but then you, you make, it your, make it your own techniques. So sometimes I paint very, very loose and sometimes tighter. <laughs> so. She has traveled widely over the years from Mexico to India and even China, and those travels are the subject of many of these paintings. Now, two of my favorites are from pictures she took in Cuba. This one is a little girl she saw in a passing car. The other is this Cuban printmaker at his work. The Price also likes to paint the flowers in her garden, the doves in her trees, or anything else that catches her interest. She earned an education degree at Sam Houston State, and she says teaching has always been a big part of her life. Oh, I love teaching. I taught in Spring Branch in Houston, taught in Rockport. And that continued when she moved to Kingsville 45 years ago. I started teaching as soon as I got here. Um, in the community uh, college they had, in the um, high school. After that, she started teaching private lessons in her home while learning a master's degree at A&M Kingsville. She was once told that her art and teaching are her ministry, and she agrees. I do feel like it has been a ministry for me, and I've, I'm so glad that I can share what I learned. Dolores Price, a few favorites, will be on display in the West Wing of the Connor Museum until Thursday, August 16th. What an amazing woman. And students at Moody High School are volunteering their time to help out their community. They're distributing food items to local residents in need as part of a student-led partnership with the Corpus Christi Food Bank. Lessons like compassion and service um, are something that are a trademark of a Trojan. And so them being able to take the lead in opportunities like this is really such a um, inspiration to us even who are with them every day because we're building them into positive community members and this is the way that they learn by doing. Definitely a great event. The next event will happen tomorrow in the Moody High School parking lot at 9 in the morning until supplies run out. People can use the Castanon Drive entrance and since their first event in February, the Trojan Food Drive has been held once a month, helping hundreds of residents in the neediest areas of town. For more information on this, just go to our website, ChrisTV.com.